everybody, my name is Crew, and welcome back to another episode of Besiege. This is a game where you build little things to destroy other little things. And today, guys, is something pretty exciting because this is the final level of Besiege, at least of what's released so far. Um, so I'm I'm pretty pumped up about that. And um, as what we said with the last one, uh, we're gonna kind of take a little break from this game. It's it's good these little breaks every so often. Um, because it gives us a chance, you know, to sort of keep the game fresh and new and, you know, we're not playing it out like crazy. Uh, but we're gonna just, just hop into this level and, uh, have some fun. Um, there's been a slight update to the game as well. They added in some new items. I think they added in the small wheel and also, what did they add in? A new weapon, this little guy. They added in the, 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 the new cannon of some sorts. I don't know how this thing's going to work. I've... I've never shot it before. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna see how these things... Oh, shoot. I didn't even see what button it was. Okay, let's, um... Look how professional we are. Okay, C to ignite. Let's see what it does here. That was a, um... That was a pretty big ignition, I must say. What's the difference between these guys and cannons? They look more shotgunny. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like... It's more like a shotgun, so we're not shooting, you know, something that's long range. Um, but rather a, a cute little shotgun. So, anyway, moving on with today's level. We are given the challenge to, um, what's this challenge? We have to destroy the enemy convoy. So they got some of these cool looking ships around here. Oh my goodness, it looks like there's four of them. And they have like giant horns on these ships. They keep, they keep blurring out. Um, anyway, how do we want to deal with this situation? Well, there's a couple things we could do here. We could either try to build another flying machine, which doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, huh, what's the best way to deal with this? I wonder, since they're sort of in the air, I, I wonder if we could honestly just like shoot, or you know what? We could probably send up a ball of fire and then that would catch him on fire and bring him down. What do you guys think? A ball of fire? I wonder how can, can we make a flaming ball of fire? So if we put a ball, can we like attach something to this ball to like hold it in place? Okay, wait. We can um Okay, we can place the ball and then we can sort of place a grabber above the ball, right? Isn't this how you can grab things? I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to try this out and see if it's possible. Alrighty, so here is the million dollar idea. So basically what we're having here is we got ourselves a nice little car here, right? That's um okay, and yeah, perfect idea. That's that's what I was going for. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Off to a great start. Um but my idea here, we have sort of a car in the front, right? So here here she is. And then in the back, we have this nice little flaming ball. And what I'm hoping to do is we can get underneath of the vessel, right? And then we can go up and detach and it'll fly up like that. Yep, like that, flying up. And we got him. Perfect, perfect. We'll have to design these little um these little helipads. We'll have to make them a little bit bigger so that way they can actually fly upwards. Um but this is the basic idea, you know, they start going up and then we release them and then they just they got to go straight up. For some reason that guy isn't really too He's not, he's not really feeling it right now, um, but we'll make these, I'll, we'll try to, let's, here, let's try to find a way. Maybe we can, how can we make you go straight up? Maybe we can, okay, let's try one more on each corner. I don't know, this is going to be quite big, isn't it? I don't know if we could go this size. Okay, let's see if you fit on all the corners. There we go. Okie dokie, let's see if this guy works. So if we push, if we go back a little bit, if we push O and then J... Uh, it's sort of leaning forward. Well, it might get there. I don't know. It's not really going straight up there, is it? It's sort of yeah. It's like okay. Let's um, let's maybe lower their flying speeds. Let's lower it down to thirty percent, maybe. All right, we're trying it out this time. We're trying it out on thirty percent speed. So if we go ahead, push the play button, tell them to go, and then detach. Oh, mm, 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 just just under the mark maybe we'll switch it to all right new plan so if we put these little pegs down below it this will prevent it from sort of you know wobbling on its side and hopefully it'll get this flaming ball up there my thought is that these giant ships they are all made out of wood so if we can just get one little fireball up there 
um, then it should get the trick done. And if it doesn't work, maybe we could try using pistons to just slam a, slam a fireball up there. Um, but okay, okay, let's see if this works. So this thing's crazy fast. So if we push J, and then, oopsies, and then we can drive away from it, right? And then if we go to this guy, and we push, what is it, is it O? Is it gonna fly right up? Why are you going to the side? Oh, because the decoupler. Okay, let's, um... Let's turn the decoupler around. I think you should be facing the other direction. Okie dokie, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, and then decouple, and then we can drive away. And now are you gonna go straight up? Please tell me. Come on, yes! Yes, it goes straight up. Look at this beast. Beauty, beauty right there. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Flaming ball of fire. Okay, let's um, let's see if this works. Let's see if we can get at least one guy. Well, I have to put steering tires on. Okie dokie, here we go. So, if we can sort of drive this thing over, this machine's gonna get real heavy real quick, isn't it? Oh, we even have some buffalo- There are buffalo bombs! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, you have to be joking me! Oh my goodness! What? No way! They're seriously buffalo bombs! So we're gonna have to build machines that can- f We're gonna have to build how many? Four of these things that can fly up there. And, and things to kill buffalo bombs all in this tiny little square. I think we can do it. I honestly think we can do it. If we like really think about space here, um, let's start getting symmetrical. This thing's gonna have to be massive, guys. It is going to have to be absolutely gigantic. I don't know how it's going to move either um, because it's gonna need a lot of wheel power, but I think we could do it. I, I really do. Like, we got this in the bag. Okay, so let's start off. Um, let's go all the way to the back. Let's start off by building the four little the four little guys on we're gonna build the four little things that go up on each of the edges so if we come over here we can go over this is gonna be where one of the things are and we come here we're gonna go over this is gonna be where another thing is this thing is going to be absolutely gigantic like the more I'm thinking about it man it's just getting huge in my head okay so so over in this direction this is where we're gonna build our first little flame cannon oh my goodness I don't even I don't even realize how big this thing's gonna get because there are four battleships so we're going to have to build oh my goodness this is going to uh, this is gonna be quite the episode all right so I've been thinking a little bit and uh, here's here's sort of my master plan for how this is gonna work so we're gonna have a thing in the front and a thing in the back so I've already built the sort of um, the sort of back bit to it right now and we're actually gonna come up right here I'm gonna try to make it somewhat symmetrical to the front so that way it actually works is that the right distance what is this one two three four five one two three four five there we go perfect and then we'll have it come out on the side here to there perfect and one two three okie dokie I think this is this is looking real well um but anywho anywho I'm thinking um, that if it's symmetrical um, and it's you know at least balanced sort of we should is this not have a middle you don't have a middle I'm messing up here okay you go there um, okay perfect um, but if it's all if it's all balanced at least um, then it should be able I should just be able to slap a bunch of wheels on this thing and it should be able to work that's what I'm hoping and um, there are okay let's get in here there are four different um, little spaceships that we're gonna have to destroy and there's also some Yakovins down there with bombs on their back that are gonna be coming after us so we got a lot to deal with here and um, I don't really know how we're gonna deal with it uh, but I'm hoping I'm hoping we could at least you know we could we're, we're gonna try our best efforts I don't know if this is gonna work it might it might not um, but that's the fun of this game man okie dokie so here we go we got our four different Four different flaming balls right here and this is going to be where we put on the four little flights in the back and the four flights on this side and then we're also going to have four flights guys on this one and this one and this is what's going to destroy the four spaceships 
out there. So those, you see these four guys that we have to kill? Um, we're gonna kill them using these four different little uh, airplanes that we're gonna shoot at them. And to deal with the Yakovins, well, to deal with these guys, we are going to have little cars on the side. So if we go ahead and grab, sort of like we did on the Yak episode, um, we're gonna have some decouplers down here and this is how we're going to basically drive miniature cars into the yaks. I think there's only, there's one yak right there, and there's one right there. Oh, there's three. Okay, so there's three deadly yaks that we're going to have to worry about, which isn't that bad, actually. Alrighty, guys. Well, it is finally done, and I am happy with how this thing looks so far. Even if it doesn't work, it still looks pretty freaking cool. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness, this thing is totally epic. Anyway, guys, anyway, let me sort of explain how this machine's gonna work, because I'm sure some of you may be lost. Let's sort of, let's set it on the ground and hope that it's going to not fall apart instantly. Okay, okay, and we're catching on fire. Ugh, grr, why is that happening? Why am I catching on fire? I don't know. I don't know, why am I catching on fire here? Okay, it's only this guy. Why is this guy catching on fire? Okay, so I think I fixed the problem. I went ahead, added some braces in a certain spot. Um, I also tried this guy over here by using like pretty much completely braces. I don't know, I don't know. They're all sort of different. And it'll be interesting to see if any of them work. Anywho, let me sort of explain this concept like I was trying to do because this time we don't catch on fire. Booyah! So the wood was getting a little too close to the fireball and the braces help prevent that. So let's test moving forward and backwards, shall we? That's forwards, that's backwards. We're not catching on fire. I was actually, I'm really surprised about that. Wow, that is really surprising that we're not just boiling in flames right now. Okie dokie, well that is, that is very, ah, uh, that's just very good feeling. Look how cool this thing looks, man. This thing, I don't know, it just looks, it looks so cool. So let's try releasing one of these guys and getting the Yakovins around. So I think it's this button to release the first guy and let's let's concentrate on this object. So what is forward? Okay, well I actually messed up on the forwards and backwards. So we're gonna have to, we'll turn it this way. Come on, come chase after me Yakovin. Chase after me Yakovin. Oh, he sees me. He wants it. He wants it. This thing's very difficult to control. Okay, he wants it. Oh my goodness, he wanted it. He wanted it bad. How do I, let me get to my thing over there. Oh, we are in another dimension, aren't we? Jeez, oh man, did that shoot us a long distance. Holy crap, where's our, where's our main base? All the way over there, oh my goodness. Okay, um, well, that was pretty successful, I think. Let's, um, let's move forward and continue our little, our little trip here. So the goal for this machine is we have to try to get underneath one of these uh, these spaceships. So if we get like underneath this guy here, um, did the fireballs go out? Like they're not flaming anymore. Do they go out? Do they have a time period on them? I hope not. They better not be. Oh my god! I think they might have gone out. Do fireballs go out? Is that a thing? I don't, oh man, I don't know. Okay, let's uh, let's back it up a little bit. I actually forget what um which one is released first. Shoot. Shoot. I think it's that guy up there. I think it's top left hand corner is going to release first. So what we have to do is we have to try to get underneath this guy. So we're gonna spin around here. Okay, okay, very well. Are we are we underneath it? Make sure this guy's gonna be going. Okay. Let's um let's hope we're sort of underneath it. Uh, back it up, back it up a little bit. Here we go, and release it! Which one did that release? Oopsies, release it? Shoot, it was the back one. It was the back one. Back one has been released. Okay, well, um, that was interesting. Let's try to release number, what number is it? Is it that one? Okay. Okay, go up, get him, yes! Yes, okie dokie. Well, that was a great test run. I'm actually really surprised that that worked. I needed to fix a few controls though, 
and I also learned something new about the fireballs. So I guess when they have this flame, they're like catching stuff on fire. Uh, but after a little bit, the flame, I guess, sort of goes out, which is what happens. So, hey, that's um, that's interesting. Okie dokie. Anyway, we are going to release this guy right off the bat. All right, we're going to get this Yakovin's attention. Hello, Mr. Yakovin. How are you doing today? Oh, oh, please don't touch me. Come on. Come on, man. My luck in this game. My luck in this game. I'm just happy that, like... That didn't happen at the very end like it did last time. Oh my god. These stupid Yakovins. Don't, don't catch me on fire. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay, there we go. Fling me in that direction. Thank you. Okie dokie. Here we go. So, this ship, it's going to be coming down. And it's going to be coming down fast. So, let's, um, let's sort of line up. Which guy are we going to be wanting to release? This guy? All right, we'll, we'll release that guy. The guy spinning. Oh man, okay, so, so aim it up, aim it up, nice and good, nice and good, are we underneath it? No, we aren't at all, are we? Okay, this guy go forward, this guy go backwards, I think we're ready to release it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, it's this one, release, there we go, there we go, back it up, back it up, back it up, okay, okay, so far, so, <gasps> no, oh, Man, what happened? Dang it. Dang it. The thing, I guess, snapped under the pressure. Okay, well, that stinks. Um, We can fix this problem easily, though, with braces. These things are just absolutely amazing. So if we put these guys across, this should, you know, have a decent amount of support to at least stand it up here. And then if we go, like, from boom to boom, this should definitely be able to hold it up. All right, well, we are very- Don't catch me on fire. Oh my goodness, if you would have done it. No! No! Oh, no! Oh, that fireball just burned it to a crisp, didn't it? Didn't it? Okay, well... Oh, man. I'm gonna propose a new idea. Instead of using fireballs, Let's maybe use bomb. Alrighty, well, I like this idea a lot better simply because um, not only did the flames go out after a little bit, so they're pretty much pointless, um, but we kept catching on fire a lot, and that that's kind of that's kind of a minor setback when your ship just keeps catching on fire. Um, so let's go ahead and do. <gasps> did not mean to do that. God dang it, man. God dang it. Oh my goodness. I done goofed. I done goofed. Maybe it'll crash into it. Come on. Yes. No. We're just crashing it up. <laughs> just crashing into ourselves. Yep. That's how um that's how we do. All right. We're about to release the first guy. Let's hope this goes all well. So we're releasing number three here. There you go. Dropping you down. And we'll spin it back around and spin it back around. Okie dokie, these braces do mighty, mighty fine job, man. We are, look how sturdy our ship is. Look at this. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, mister, let's see how you do. You're, you're pretty well lined up here. You're about right in the middle. I have faith in you. Go, yes. Yes, taking down ships. Look, we're still flying, man. Still flying, that's how stable. Blow up, blow up, do something cool. Do something cool. Nope, not, not gonna do anything cool. Okay, well, I don't I don't blame you. There's all these debris in here now. Okay, let's let's move on. We're doing great so far, man. Which one should we release next? You or you or you? We'll release you. We'll release the fret guys first. Sounds like a plan. Okay, this guy, you have some Yakovins underneath you. Should I try to save the Yakovins? I don't know. I don't know. I can <gasps> No! 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 Oh my goodness, I forgot about the bombs. I forgot about the bomb, guys. Oh my goodness, how did I let that happen? God dang it, man. Shoot, that really sucks. All right, let's release our other car and operate it. Where are you at? Are you, okay, we'll release you. Go, maybe? Follow you. Here we go, off on a mission to kill the Yakovins. I forgot to program one of the tires, didn't I? That tire doesn't seem to be moving. 
Okay, well, we got two more bombs that we need to kill with one Yakovin. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can push this guy to go over to the other guy. Or we could just push him out of the way. That's another option. You're sort of in the rocks there, buddy. Alrighty, Yakovins have been taken all care of. We are good to go for this mission, boys. So we're going to be dropping this guy first. Braces seem to be holding up well. Let's get a nice... Nice, well under it. All right, line her up just like so. I think we're, yeah, we're directly under it. Drop in the first crate and back it up, back it up, back it up. Oopsies, sorry, buddy, sorry, just ran over something. Nothing but roadkill now. Lift you up. Which one are you? Booyah, go, 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 go. No. Okay, okay, drop it down, drop it down. We got time, we got time. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, we're taking them out. That was, um, that was a close one. These bombs, they don't seem to be going off, which is, uh, which is sort of a problem. And there's also some debris in our way now, isn't there? Let's try to turn it. You gotta be joking me. You gotta be... <sighs> Alrighty, guys, this time is the charm. I can feel it, man. I feel it in my bones. Okay, so we're all familiar with the control. Did I just drop that on a yak? I am so sorry, Yakovin. I didn't mean to. It's not my day today. Okay. Boost him up there. Come on, pop him. Pop him. You're not pop. Pop him. No! He shot. He shot at me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He actually just shot at me. Holy crappers. Jeez, oh man. Well, I don't know how I didn't pop him there. But then again, I don't know, I was like flying away and he shot me with his cannons. Holy crap. No! All right, this time's a charm. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. All right, here we go. Nope, wrong button. And wait for it, wait for it. No! Yes! Taking him out. That's what we do. That is what we do. Okie dokie. Now that we got that guy out of there, let's go ahead release the second hound are we ready to go battle him come go go get him buddy alrighty here we go well I didn't really kill one of the Yakovins which is sort of a problem he sort of snugged up in that rock over there and uh, I don't know how we're gonna deal with that are also we're pretty off balance here so we're actually not really turning too well are we okay well well mr. Yakovin please don't kill me Please don't kill me. Pretty please. Okay, I don't think he can see us. Oh my goodness, yes. All right, so lining up underneath this guy. Might want to back it up a little bit this way and then go forward and back it up, back it up, back it up. Which one are we dropping? All right, and drop, dropped down. There is a little bit of a debris in our direction. All right, back it up nice and slowly. I think we're underneath it. Is it all right? All right. All right. Wait for it. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time I have left for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I have I had a lot of fun playing this. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching as well. Anyway, anyway, this ship, we will try to improve our on our design next episode and maybe beat it. This was a pretty creative design, I gotta say so myself. And if you guys have any, you know, tips or recommendations on how we can um, improve it in any way, feel free to leave that down there in the comment section. Other than that, my name's Crew, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.